There's a bit less wind around today, still a little bit, but uh, much more manageable. The little Femi Manta wing is, is working very nicely. I've, uh, I've got the run cam thumb up on top there so we can see what the motors are doing in flight, which will be very interesting. I've taken the nacelle covers off, um, they're flapping around a bit so I don't really need them so I'll just leave them off I think. I'm trying a few different modes as well like Acro, which I prefer to fly in Acro, that feels very nice indeed and uh, cruise and loiter and QRTL which is where it uh, returns and does a, a VTOL landing. Uh, it seems to be working pretty well although I haven't been game enough to let it land because it'll probably land in the long grass around me rather than right on the mat. Um, it's something to, tr something to try on a nice smooth football oval or something like that. But uh, what I do is put it into Q return to home. Uh, it uh, comes back home, transitions to uh, VTOL and starts uh, the landing procedure, then I just switch it to uh, Q stabilise and land it manually and then I can put it right down on the mat, but uh, yeah, really enjoying it so far. Um, it's working very well, definitely much better in this lighter wind for sure. Giz FPV gave me a few tips as well, it did have about 5 degrees of up nose attitude pre-dialed in, I've taken that out and mine is actually losing altitude now so I do need a little bit, maybe not the 5 degrees, maybe 3 degrees I think, uh, so I'll put that back in and it should maintain altitude in uh, fly-by-wire A mode, uh, but otherwise uh, it's it's a fun little wing, I, I really enjoy it, I think it um, might be the best of the little VTOLs so far I think. Anyway, let's go and fly a little bit more, thanks for watching, see you in the next video.